So next we have uh, Pastor Mitch from Crown Jesus Ministries who will be praying uh, about evangelism. Bless you. It's, uh, it's great to see so many people from the north and the Republic of Ireland together and we're not fighting against each other. Uh, we're fighting his battle and, and we're fighting with each other instead of against each other. And irony, we find ourselves in a boxing ring, isn't it? You know, <laughs> there was a day gone past we might have knocked 10 bells out of each other, but today we're, uh, we're going to knock 10 bells out of the devil. Amen. And we want to give Jesus all the glory, honor, and praise. I want to take you uh, to an obscure passage of scripture just to set the tone for, for what I want us to, to, to do is to pray for evangelism across the whole island of Ireland. That comes from the book of Lamentations. Lamentations, and uh, chapter 4, um, verse 9. This is what it says. Those slain by the sword are better off than those who die of hunger. Now, the message puts it like this. It's better to be killed in battle than to be killed of starvation. It's better to die with battle wounds than to slowly starve to death. Uh, let me paraphrase that another way. It's better to die doing something than to sit and starve doing nothing. Are you with me? Like, if ever there's a day for action, today is the day. In 2 Kings, you get a story of four lepers Four lepers are starving outside the gates. And they say to each other, why sit here and die? And in verse 5, they get up. Everybody say, get up. You see, there needs to be a moment where you've got to get up. As a ministry in Christ Jesus, we have had the privilege of training thousands of people in evangelism. But, but let me tell you something. Most of the time, it doesn't work. Why does it not work? Because I can give you tools. I can give you motivation and passion and energy. But it starts in here where there has to be something in here that motivates you into the mission of God. Are you with me? Uh, people ask me sometimes, what happened when you got baptized in the Holy Spirit, Mitch? I said, I fell down. Why did you fall down? I couldn't stand up. The presence of God was there, I couldn't stand. When did you get called the evangelism, Mitch? I didn't get called the evangelism. I just went. Why did you go? Because I couldn't sit down. I couldn't just sit. I couldn't sit and see my neighbors and my friends and my family. I couldn't sit and see a generation being lost. It wasn't because somebody taught me four top tips or four Bible verses and uh, what to do in evangelism. It's something in me. It, there has to be a hunger in here. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness. They shall be filled. You see, the best evangelists and the best in evangelism aren't the ones who've got like, you know, big mouths. They're the ones who've got a big heart. They're the ones who are moved for an unction from their belly, from their inner man to say, I've got to do something because I'm not prepared to die doing nothing. Are you with me? In Luke chapter 15, we miss this in the prodigal of the, of the lost son. What moved him? What moved him to go back home to his father? What was it that he missed his brother? Was it that he missed his friends? Was it the smell of the pigs? No, I'll tell you what moved him. It says this. He was hungry. He was hungry. He was starving. And because he was hungry for something more, he set off on a journey. I, I wonder if you're really, really hungry to see your wayward son come back to Christ. Are you really, really hungry to see a reconciliation with a brother? You're really, really hungry to see a school teacher come to faith in Jesus. I was in Moldova a few years ago, and uh, I was ministering in lots of different places. And this young man said, I want you to come and meet my French teacher. 
And uh, I went into a little flat in Mol Moldova, and the, the French teacher was married to a foreman, a former Soviet soldier. And she was sick in bed, and uh, this, this Russian Soviet soldier was by her bedside. They had never heard the gospel. And I had the privilege of leading both of them into a personal, personal relationship with Jesus. Because a young man was burdened for his French teacher. And he got up and went as far as he could. And then he said, can someone help me? And he brought an evangelist in. The greatest mobilization for evangelism that our country will see and this island will see will not be because you've learned a trick or a top tip, but because there's something in here that said, I'm not prepared to sit here and die. There's a hunger in me here to go to my neighbors. So I, I, I'm going to ask that, that uh, in this moment, I'm not going to lead you in prayer. I want you to lead each other in prayer. I want you to turn to your neighbor. And I don't need a, you don't need a 20-minute introduction. Just with your neighbor, start praying for someone. Whoever the Lord lays in your heart. A son, a daughter, a neighbor, a family member. If you're sitting on your own, just hook up with someone. Quickly, just take a moment. Pray for someone that you don't know. But someone that you know that doesn't have a personal relationship with Jesus. And may God move you to say, I'm not prepared to sit here and die. Pray.